Former NBA players Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson and the award-winning David Aldridge is on our sidelines. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now, these the new power rankings, they tell a great story. They're stuck in neutral, unable to gain any real positive momentum. And, and you know, right now for the Jazz, they have to like the progression that we've seen. Bit by bit, everything coming together. Consistency going forward will be key. Now, look at Memphis's starting group. Smart in the backcourt. To his side is Bain. Santi Aldama is out there with Williams. And it's Jackson at the five. And for Utah, we'll see Markinen and Collins at four. Chris Dunn is out there with Collins Sexton. And it's Kessler in absent. When you talk about rebounding the basketball, Greg, both of these teams demonstrate an edge in this department. Yeah, both teams pound the boards. It's clear these coaching staffs push for their guys to attack the glass. So this one's going to be physical. Basket counts. Yeah, you got to like the vision for marketing. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. Smart passes to Bain. Smart with this screen on Sexton. Here's Bain. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Yeah, that's a good way to start the game. Nice inside bucket right there. Smart against Dunn. The open look here for Sexton. Aldama with the rebound. Bain looking around. Smart finds Bain. to Smart. Just five on the clock. Overdone. Smart misses. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Dunn dishes to Markinen. Makes it off the glass. You gotta keep Markinen out of the paint. He's just too big on that block and imposes his will. Hard against Dunn. Here's Bain. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Shot by Collins, no good. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. With the Grizzlies, Richard, we've heard about an emphasis on defense in the past few years. Yeah, and there has been some improvement. They were a middle-of-the-road type defensive team not too long ago. But the last few seasons, they have played impact defense. Now Sexton, after the miss, three from Desmond Bain. Here's Dunn. 
from eight feet away. He drops it in. Dunn. Just grown man work from Dunn inside. His incredible athleticism really helping get him these types of shots. Now here's Smart. Outside, Bain fires for three. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Bain's got seven. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. They trail by one. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. You can see it in that game. Despite the odds going against them, once it got to OT, they had that belief and resolve that they could win. When they say don't give your opponent confidence, this is what they mean. They were allowed to hang around, and by the end, they were the team that believed in themselves. Run against Smart to the middle. Here's Aldama. What a terrific move that was. Aldama. And that's what the pump fakes there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Run against Smart. It's stolen by Aldama. Down low. Outside for Smart. Back to Jackson. Over done. And there's Jackson on the assist by Smart. The great point guards keep their eyes up on the court. Young players should watch how Smart goes about this man's business. Sexton the pass to Markinen. Dishes to Collins. Back to Markinen. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. The Grizzlies have gone 5 of 7 today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. It's tipped and stolen by Dunn. To the paint, here's Sexton. The layup missed. Memphis has gone 1 of 2 from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Smart. Smart puts the pick in for Bain. Pulls it up. Rebound, Utah. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. Collins, a screen on Smart. Unloads from 13. Dunn shot's good. Dunn's got his second bucket of the night. What about the concentration of Dunn nailing the shot right in the D's face? Smart kicks to Bain. To the inside. Right side, Smart. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Here's Jackson. Good and smart gets the assist. Uh, just like his pops, Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah, look, this man, when he gets close to the hoop, it is pretty much automatic. He can't let that happen. Now, here's Dunn. He picked up 15 points in their last one against the Nuggets in Denver. Putting others before himself, racking up assists. Hey, I wish I played with more guys like him. Sexton with it. Defended by Aldama. Shot clock at three. The shot from 20 feet away. The shot by Sexton, no good. The Grizzlies have gone six of nine, shooting it well. Smart against Collins. Smart passes to Williams. Back to Smart. Jackson setting the pick here for Smart. Can't get it to go. He's taken two and missed two. Utah shooting an impressive 60% early. You know, Greg, after a few seasons of development, Lowry Markkinen has really emerged. And he's such a unique player. It took him a while to kind of figure out how to maximize all of those talents and, and also minimize the weaknesses. But boy, has he arrived. Here's Dunn. Marcus Smart picking up that last basket. Inside, here's Markinen. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the Jazz seem to have a schedule, Greg, but where can they take another step forward? Well, turnovers have been a problem. They commit a lot, and they don't force a ton either defensively, so closing that differential will help them on the possession battle.
And the first one at the line is good. Hey, Greg, what are you looking for here as they enter their first night of a back-to-back? -back? We'll see how the coaching staff distributes minutes among the players. You don't want to overuse your guys tonight and leave them sluggish for tomorrow. It's about finding a balance. Here's what Utah's going with right now. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for John Collins. And Georgia subbed in for Chris Dunn. With the Grizzlies, Richard, there's so much talent. They just haven't made a big run in the postseason. Yeah, it's coming. They've lost to the Warriors, and they've lost to the Lakers the last two years. Both of these teams just have a tremendous amount of an experience advantage versus the Grizzlies, and it's shown. And the Grizzlies, they come in off the loss to Dallas. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. And tonight, I expect them to play better offensively, try to get some closer looks. Now, here's Sexton. And he really played well against Ben Paul. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burn. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And how about the clever move by Rose? He somehow manages to get around the contact and finish. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Jazz? So far, they haven't had to force anything. They're swinging the ball around and turning good passing into points. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. Well, the Utah Jazz GA have one of the highest win percentages in NBA history. And they're probably the greatest franchise to never win a championship. They made the finals twice. Unfortunately, they had to face Jordan and the Bulls both times. Here's Hendricks. Oh, that's blocked. George against Rose. Jackson has the open look. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. And the Grizzlies lead by three. And so Clarkson will bring it up for the Utah Jams. Again, the Jazz score. And this is what Clarkson is out here to do. He's consistent about looking to score from the mid-range. Jackson, a screen on George. The pass to Eldama. To the paint. Let's go. Jackson misses. Well, some trips you get the shot you want. It just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. George passes to Clarkson. Outside, Sexton. Banked in off the glass. Sexton's got five points so far. You can't let a smaller guard burn you inside. Still, you got to love Sexton's focus and fearlessness. So, timeout called here. The first for Memphis. in for Walker Kessler and Lowry Markinen subbed in for Colin Sexton then for the Grizzlies 
Stevens has checked in. And it's Bain in for Jackson. in the post, defended by George. The Grizzlies with another miss. Utah leading. In the corner, it's Clarkson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first personal And a guy who's bounced Second around the league a bit. Clarkson tightened up his game, and now he is a key factor in what this team does. Two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And the Jazz making a change here. Horton Tucker's checked in. And the Grizzlies also with a sub. Watanabe's checked in. Both free throws good for Clarkson. And here are the Grizzlies now. It's a three-point game. Rose kicks to Jackson. George against Rose. Over George. And it's Rose missing. Ooh, might rest that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. Clarkson looking for an opening. This is it to Horton Tucker. Four seconds left. No good at the rim. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Jazz lead by three. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. If you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And taking a look at the Jazz performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. Here's Rose. They've got Jordan Clarkson. Taylor Horton Tucker out there with George. Then it's Lowry Markinen. And it's Hendricks in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group for Utah getting going here in the second. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. George looking around. Pass to Markinen. He feeds it to Clarkson. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Oh, incredible effort from Clarkson on that play, willing to give everything to make it an N1 opportunity. The Jazz shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws, so those are numbers you'll be happy with. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Good, good, good. 
When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, GA, how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You want a few guys in the locker room who've seen it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. Now, here's Bain. Saw him with 29 points Bain. last game. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Clarkson passes to Horton Tucker. Outside for George. Clarkson against Spain. Six to shoot. Or the three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. This is their first chance to take a look at the Jazz this season. And two teams at vastly different ends of the standings last year. But they played each other to a draw. Now here's Jackson. And the layup's good off the glass. Jackson's got his second bucket of the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Jaron Jackson Jr. is a prolific shot blocker, but blocks aren't his goal. He said, I'm playing the game to not foul, but make it as hard as I can. If I block it, then pull. Avoiding those whistles is key. John Morant says of Jackson, his defensive presence is big time for us. We're a totally different team with him out there on the floor. Kevin? They are indeed. Hey, DA, thank you. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's Clarkson. He's got nine. Outside, George. They set the pick. Can't cash in from close range. Memphis leading by three. And a key guy for this offense, Luke Kennard. One of the best shooters in the game can do it off the catch and off the bounce. Rarely misses a free throw. And when he doesn't have a good look, he makes the right play. And developing that three ball shot, George is putting in the work now. Rose against George. Rose can't hit. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Jazz. Clarkson with the ball. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Nuggets in Denver. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Pass to Williams. And Williams throws it down. Williams. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Yeah, that's nice execution. Running with purpose and creating an easy scoring opportunity off the break. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. Here. All right, a chance to check out stats for Marcus Smart, how he performed last season. Tenth in steals, and he also finished in the top 20 of the assist rankings, making plays for others and making his teammates better.
And like a thief in the night, he will pick your pocket clean. Top 10 in steals, as you said last year, always a threat to cause a turnover. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. They set the screen. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Another miss by Utah. Williams passes to Bain. RJ, if you redrafted the 2020 draft, Desmond Bain would go much higher than number 30. Yeah, he was a steal at number 30, and he would probably go top five in a redraft. He is an elite shooter who continues to grow as a playmaker and defender. And he makes the first. Frank, for a franchise like Memphis, is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. And Bain drops them both. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Bain against Clarkson. Collins a screen on Bain. Clarkson for three. That's in, and that's his fourth pass of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. The man is a microwave. This team loves Clarkson's take charge attitude when it comes to scoring. Now, here's Bain. He's got 18. On the pass to Clarkson. The dish to Dunn. Pass to Kessler. Kicks it to Clarkson. From outside the arc. Aldama with the rebound. Aldama's got four rebounds now tonight. Smart finds Bain. Smart with this screen on Clarkson. Puts it up from 12, and he nails the jumper. Bain's got 20. And started hot, and he's only gotten hot. Jazz trail by three. Dunn looking over the floor. Clarkson, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Oh, slick move by Clarkson. Getting around that inside contact to finish the shot. Smart against Dunn. Pass to Eldama. Puts up a deep three. Collins grabs the miss. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. Now Clarkson, 14 points for him. To the middle. Kessler with the bucket. We talked about a back and forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Now here's Smart. Outside, Bain. Jackson setting the pick here for Bain. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. Dunn passes to Clarkson. Here's Collins, and finish off by Collins. Well, this is as easy as it gets for Collins. Once he establishes position, the defense is tough. Now a timeout called by Memphis. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of another game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated.
Markkinen. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Jaron Jackson's checked in for Jackson. And it's Luke Kennard in for Bain. with the ball and it's Clarkson picking him up some nice passing there by Memphis outside Williams lets the free fly sinks the triple Williams has got himself going there his first points of the game on the deep ball he can really stroke it from deep you have to keep better tabs on him Clarkson for three Aldama with the rebound Aldama's got his fifth rebound in this one. Smart against Dunn. There's a screen by Aldama. And Kennard wide open. He shoots. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Archon against Williams. Pass to Dunn. Larson outside over Williams. Rebounded by Jackson. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Williams kicks to Kanaw. Jackson a screen on Sexton. Left block shot on the way. It's deflected. And here's Dunn. And there's the pass to Kessler. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 158 left in the first half. Clarkson passes to Sexton. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Williams. Here's Kessler. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. One thirty-three left in the second quarter. Smart passes to Jackson. Outside Williams. Here's Aldama. And a miss there on the triple. Jazz trail by three. Clarkson up top. He's got 14. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Smart. There's the lob to Jackson. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Love watching Jackson on the receiving end of the alley-oop. He definitely won the athletic lottery. Smart against Dunn. Here's Collins. Busts the J after the KG casting. Collins has got four this quarter. I know what they say, defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Passes it to Jackson. Back to Smart, a three ball. No good on the shot. That was a good possession. They got a clean look, the shot just didn't fall. Clarkson against Williams. Here's Clarkson. Five to shoot. Fires the three. Oh, drew the foul. Almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. His first personal foul. That's on Jaron Jackson. The Jazz have not yet missed a free throw. Five for five. Jordan Clarkson. Three shots. Three shots. He's off on the first. And he sinks the second. Oh, 
Now, here's Bain. With the teardrop, and some nice defense there to end the quarter. Man, how about marketing using his size and reach on defense? Great timing in terms of being able to get up and block shots. Desmond Bain getting it done for the Memphis Grizzlies. His production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Derek, how does it feel to be back on the floor again? It feels good, man, especially um, playing with my teammates. We have new teammates. We're just trying to come out here and just play hard and compete. Good to see you back out here, Derek. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Everybody. No lack of drama tonight. The Utah Jazz might be taking this one all the way down to the wire. They're giving up too many threes. Got to extend their defense. Get out there and cover on the perimeter. Jeez. They look like Shaq trying to guard me out there. Slow-footed and a step behind. And now we turn our attention to the Western Conference standings here in the early going. I think for the Jazz... This team wants to do big things, shack size things. And I got to say, they're looking almost as dominant as Kenny. Easy, big fella. But I got to say, they are making it look easy here in this early part of the season, at least. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been a clinic out there by Desmond Bain. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And it's a role we don't always see him in, but he's done a great job tonight getting the rest of his team involved. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Kicking off the second half, here's Taylor Jenkins' spot. Smart in the backcourt, to his side is Bain. Santi Aldama is up there with Jaron Jackson, and it's Williams at the three spot. You know, Greg, one place you really see Walker Kessler making his presence felt is on the defensive end. And boy, he has got a nose for blocks. That mean, I mean, able to detect shots forming and get a hand on the ball. It, it is such a gift that allows this guy to make such a big difference on that side of the ball. Now, here's Sexton. After the miss from John Collins. Here's Dunn. Bangs home the trifecta. Dunn's got the first bucket of the third here for the Jams. And how about Dunn getting the ball in a great spot, making the deep attempt look too easy. Pass to Jackson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's hard to quantify how impactful Jaron Jackson Jr. is on D. He does so much. Yeah, the rim protection is elite. That's why he was Defensive Player of the Year, Greg. But he can also switch out on screens and not look lost. The sky is the limit for him defensively. A free throw drops for Jackson. And what really distinguishes Jackson, the soft touch of his shot. Most young bigs are still developing that. Jackson hits both of them. 
Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, Kevin. The Utah Jazz have found themselves a new all-star in Laurie Markkinen. Coach Will Hardy says he's our best player, but we're not making our team about him. We have a lot of really good players. Everyone is finding a way to coexist, and that's the great thing about our team. Kevin? Yeah, a quick rebuild. And David Aldridge, thank you for that report. And here's Smart following Colin Sexton's three. Bain passes to Aldama. Good job, Colin. John Collins. That's his first personal foul. It's his first trip to the line. And, and last season, he made good on about three out of every four free throw attempts. Uh, and last time I checked, I think that's 75%. Shooting two. He throw good from Eldama. He's off on the second. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. And he's got his first chance at the line here. How about a year ago? 82% on his foul shot, so he was reliable when he went to the line. One shot. Free throw good, Sexton. And how about the explosiveness of Sexton? A crafty floor general who is consistent in how hard he attacks the defense. Now here's Smart. Outside Jackson. Pass to Bain. Three pointer. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Done with a screen on Williams. Arkin and down low. He's against Williams. The shot by Sexton, no good. Memphis has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Smart passes to Bain. Smart puts the pick in for Bain. Outside for Smart. There's a screen by Aldama. To the inside. And Aldama slams it in. Just an easy play for Smart. Sometimes a game is simple. You see open man, you pass the ball to open man. Open man scores. Now, here's Sexton. 11 points in the game. Arkin in against Williams. Arkin in down low. Good! Arkin has got eight. And with a unique combination of size and skill, marketing can finish plays that others simply can't. Done against Smart. Now a timeout called by Memphis.
look at some stats for Desmond Bain. Great showing for him last season. He was around 21 points per game, four assists, and five rebounds. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. He's someone you can rely on to bring it on a nightly basis. When they need a basket, he's the guy they turn to. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Done again, smart. Back to Jackson. Shot clock at six. The pass to Williams. That's tipped. Done with it. He's got seven. He kicks to Markinen. Right side, Collins. Sexton for three. Rebounded by Jackson. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. Outside, Bain. Passes to Jackson. Over Kessler. And it's off the back rim. No good. How about that hard nose D in the paint right there? Nice job. Yeah, he's got great position, and it makes it a really tough shot, even from such close range. Now, here's Markinen. He's got eight. Outside, Sexton. Kicks it out to Collins. Cruise it from outside. Collins has got the lead up to four now for the Jams. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Smart against Dunn. Nice shot by Smart. Marcus. Smart's got his second basket of the night. Look, we know Marcus Smart wants to get in close and get that high percentage finish. And the Jazz call time here. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jam. The lead is two. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Clarkson for three. Good for basket number six for him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Smart against Dunn. Jackson a screen on Dunn. Nice shot by Marcus. Smart. Look, and when Marcus Rick Smart Marcus. is hitting from deep, it really makes a difference in this offense. It becomes so much more dynamic. 
Well, GA, he was the heart and soul of the Celtics. But now, Marcus Smart is a Grizzly. Reminiscent of another first-team all-defensive guard who left game green to create grit and grind in Tony Allen. Memphis hoping Smart has that same kind of impact. Now, Smart, after Colin Sexton's three-pointer that didn't go. Outside Jackson for the lead. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got six assists here tonight. The potential of Jaron Jackson is endless. A center who has a tremendous J. Now, here's Dunn. He's got seven. And Collins gets double team. Hartson for three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Now, Kennard. Jackson a screen on Sexton. Kennard finds Jackson. Over Kessler. And it's Memphis with another. And finding his teammate in stride, he led his guy perfectly. Jazz trail by three. And here's Clarkson. He's got 18. Here's Sexton. Down at the elbow. Clock at four. Here's Clarkson. The Jazz again can't hit it. Memphis with the ball. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Sexton against Smart. Pass to Kennard. Outside Williams. No good on the triple. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Dunn gets to Clarkson. Clarkson is screen on Jackson. Kessler passes to Dunn. Here's Collins. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Two minutes remaining in the third. Smart deciding where to go with it. Outside Jackson. Shoots over Clarkson. Jackson misses. Utah's got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. Smart against Dunn. Clarkson for three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got his fourth assist in this one. Outside, Smart. Kennard setting the pick for Smart. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Stolen by Collins. Down low, Williams with the steal. Smart against Dunn. Smart kicks to Kennard. To the paint. Jackson passes to Kennard. Five on the clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. In transition, here come the Jams. And that's good from Sexton on the assist from Dunn. Dunn's got assist number five here tonight. And he is just an explosive athlete. Sexton not at all phased by the contact. Now here's Smart. He's got seven. Jackson a screen on Dunn. Smart finds Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. Yeah, and in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Done outside. Collins looking around. That one, no good. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Jam out in front, up by two. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us.
Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. We've got George. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Lowry Markin. And then there's Taylor Horton Tucker. And Hendricks in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group right now for Utah. The shot by Clarkson, no good. And it's Williams with the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. Horton Tucker with it, outside, marking it. A three-pointer, no good. Payne for three, in for another field goal. A sublime nine of 14 on the night. Cutting into that deficit now, well within striking distance. A stop or two in the next minute or so, and they could even this game up. Great job to keep battling. Pass to Hendricks. Marking in with it. Uses the glass to finish the way. And the Jazz lead by one. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Now here's Jackson. Payton for three. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Goodness, this man is ripping three after three. An incredible display of shooting. Horton Tucker, the pass to Markinen. To the middle. Plays it up and banks it in. Hendricks has got it all tied up now for the Jams. They are just killing them on the interior. The Grizzlies have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Now the pass to Jackson. Payne for three. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists in the game. The Jazz shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. Passes it to Markinen. Here's Hendricks. Here's the three. Kennard with the rebound. Kennard's got his fourth rebound in this one. Inside, Bain drawn the double team. Over in the corner, Williams. And again, it's Memphis with the three. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. Just keep letting it rain. Now, here's Clarkson. Over Jackson. It's tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. And the Jazz making a change here. Kessler's checked in. The Grizzlies also making a change. Aldama's checked in. Rose against George. Shot on the wing, and he swishes it right through. Rose has got the lead up to eight now for the Grizzlies. And this is when Rose should look to shoot it. The D has to react better. Snatched away. To the inside. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. That's seven points for Rose. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for Memphis. They've been defending with excellent anticipation all game long. Just look at how many times they've managed to get their hands on the ball. And another thing, guys, they dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. And the Jazz all time here.
making a switch here. Williams has checked in. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Able to listen in on Will Hardy's huddle with his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. We're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Now, here is George. George with the screen on Williams. Rocket six. George against Rose. Puts up a deep three. That one misses. And the Grizzlies leading by ten. Outside, Bain. Rose sets the screen for Bain. From outside, off the mark. And so George will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. Clarkson passes to Kessler. The shot by Markin and nobody around. Good on the triple. Glory. And he plays with such a great rhythm. Markin, the catch and shoot shot, one he practices religiously. Now, here's Bain. Inside, here's Eldama. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. At the line for the Grizzlies, Santi Aldama. Two shots. Shoot two. And the first one drops. So both teams making some changes here. And so he's able to get one of two. Jazz trail by eight. Bobbed up there for Collins. Throws down the lead slam. Oh, I'm sure his teammates love having a guy like Collins on the receiving end of those alley-oops. As fun an assist as you'll get. Now here's Smart. Outside, Bain. Outside, Williams. And the three off target. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Back to Markinen. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got his seventh assist here tonight. And once Markinen flips the switch, it's fun to watch. Love seeing him be that aggressive. Now here's Smart. Outside Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Outside Bain. Connects from three-point range. Bain's got 15 points in just the second half. Jazz trail by seven. Done outside. Pass to Kessler. Collins a screen on Jackson. Kicks it to Dunn. Shot from 12. Grizzlies with the rebound. Eldama's got eight rebounds in this game. Williams inside. Dunn covering. Outside, Bain. And again for three. He's got this defense scrambling. And even when they've got two guys on him, he just finds a way to create space. And he's making some team history. He just tied the franchise record for three-pointers in a single game. There's the 
pick. Sexton, the pass to Kessler. Lays it up off the glass. And getting better at distributing in the pick and roll. Sexton wants to evolve more as a passer. Now, smart. Jackson has the open look. The putback. It's good on the putback. Aldama's got the lead up to 10 now for Memphis. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Done outside. Back to Sexton. Cowan setting the pick for Sexton. Shot clock at five. And finish off by Collins. With soft hands and, and great recognition, Collins is the ideal big for a pick and roll. Smart kicks to Jackson. Outside, Bain. Misses the three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Sexton finds Markin. And there's the patience you want to see from Sexton. Eyes up and finds the open man. Outside, Bain. Smart puts the pick in for Bain. The kick out to Williams. Off target from outside. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Markkinen and Utah again with the bucket. Accepting more of a leadership role over time. Markkinen not bashful at rising up to take huge shots. Here's Eldama. Payton for three. Connects again yes, from distance. He's now set the team record for most threes in a game. Unreal. And a lot of it stems from his confidence. Even when he misses, he's sure. He's positive. The next one's going to go in. No, oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you got to love that. A, a little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Now, here's Bain. to the paint. Here's Aldama. And Aldama slams it in. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Time call here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. They're down by seven. 115 left to play in the final court. Smart. Pass to Markinen. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Markinen's got 17 now, just in the second half. And the Grizzlies leading by five. 56 seconds left in the fourth. Payne finds Williams. 
And Odama has it in the corner. Back to Williams. Pocket six. And that's an intentional foul. Lauren Markman. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Forty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Williams for three. And the passion Sexton plays with is so impressive. When he gets after it on defense, this kid is fun to watch. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. So it's the Jazz now after Memphis gets the three. Arkanen can't get it to go. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Memphis. And here's Smart. So it's Memphis picking up the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks a lot. Derek, congrats on the win. I know this wasn't the night you wanted offensively, but how do you take this anyway when you win the game? No, a win is a win, don't get me wrong, but I know I could have played better. I got my teammates that came to help me tonight, made some huge plays, and we got the win. Well, a good team picks up the guy when he's not playing well, and they did that for you tonight, Derek. Thanks again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching as we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Desmond Bain.